You may start to see something new on food labels. The word bioengineered will replace the old term GMO. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan is working for you to explain this change so that you can make some smart and healthy choices for your family. Well, that's right. Both the new term, bioengineered, and the one it's replacing, GMO, refer to foods that have had their DNA altered to either enhance their nutritional value or make them resistant to disease. So if you pay attention to food labels, you've probably seen GMO on some products made with food like corn and soybeans, foods like canola oil or sugar. But now GMO will be called bioengineered on food labels. The changes are part of the USDA's new rules that went into effect this year to create a national standard for labeling. The words mean the same thing, but some critics say because GMOs have a bad rap, changing the name is somewhat deceitful to consumers. Now they suddenly decide, oh, we're not going to call it GMO anymore. We're going to call it BE, bioengineered, right? So that's already hiding the fact. Most people don't know what bioengineered is. They'll see it on their their label and say, well, I don't know what that means. So here's what the new labeling is going to look like. For example, this cereal box, which is now in compliance, lets you know right there on the labeling that it contains bioengineered ingredients. Or some products will display labels like these. And under the new labeling laws, food manufacturers also have the option to simply put a QR code like this one on its packaging. So now the burden is on you to scan it in order to see whether there are bioengineered ingredients in the product you want to buy. Some food safety groups claim this discriminates against a huge population of consumers. Approximately one third of Americans, we're talking about 100 million people here, or over 100 million people, don't have the smartphones. It's primarily the elderly, uh, people of low income, which is often people of color. They are actually locked out altogether. They won't get anything. They won't even get the BE or bioengineer or even the QR code because they can't access that. The Center for Food Safety filed a lawsuit against the USDA to block these new rules. The case is still ongoing. So when it comes to whether bioengineered foods are safe, well, it really depends on who you talk to. The FDA, USDA, and the EPA all ensure that they are safe for humans. And some food scientists believe they are incredibly helpful to the overall production of certain crops. If you think about drought resistant crops, we take a crop that is drought resistant, we identify those genes and we put it into a crop that's not drought resistant. And we're able to increase uh, crop productivity and yields uh, in doing so. And it's really a technology that's extremely safe. And to add to even more confusion, the one thing that's not changing, those foods that don't have bioengineered ingredients can continue using labels like this, the non-GMO label, on their packaging.